So yeah, the title's a little clickbaity, but it's also kind of true. I am homeless now, and I am unemployed. So basically, I quit my job, and I'm going full-time YouTube. And at the same time, Yuka and I moved out of our place in Vancouver and into the van. But basically, I feel like the channel is big enough to go full time. And living in a van is perfect for it because we can travel around, check out as many different trails as we can, and uh, show them all off to you guys. But, anyways, I'm riding at Ledgeview, and these are the trails I grew up on. So, as a teenager, I used to live at the bottom of this mountain, and I'd come up here fairly often and ride these trails. That's what got me into mountain biking. And 20 years later, in many ways it's still the same. In many ways it's quite different. But I'll show you one of the trails that didn't exist when I was a teenager. And then I'll show you one of my favorite lines that did exist when I was a teenager. Woo! At the top. But the first trail I'll show you guys is called Ambidextrous. But it actually starts out as an XC trail. Um, but I've got a nice way to get into it that makes it more of a downhill oriented trail. So we just go left here. This is actually kind of a newer trail. <clears throat> so green right now. I forget what it's called, Charlie's Ken Chicken or something like that. Those roots have definitely come out a bit. Oh yeah, this is nice in here. This trail called Accelerator is super cool because it goes past all these cliffs. And it's really like unusual terrain for, the, for this area. Like most of the riding around Vancouver is pretty rocky and stuff but this is actually dirt and a completely different kind of tree here yeah and then this is uh, accelerator but there's this double black option I'm gonna take today this is where you're gonna start to see some of the cliffs looks like it's not ridden that much yeah exposure is pretty Pretty high here. It's actually quite dry, so that's good. We we'll definitely come down here in the wet and got a little sketchy. Not very double black today. And then this tight corner. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, you start to see some of these cliffs right here. And it's actually sandstone, which is, you don't see much. Yeah, this is so cool. A little overgrown today. Oh, I went the wrong way. I'm actually supposed to go this way, but uh, kind of messed that up. <laughs> a little grown in right now. Oh yeah, these cliffs are so cool. <laughs> little tight spot there. Oh yeah, this is a really sweet one. Oh yeah, there's some big cool rocks here. I think this trail is called Autobahn now. Yeah, with the van life, people always ask about showers and toilets and things like that. I'm still trying to convince Yuka a little bit on that toilet. She doesn't want any poo in the car, which I can kind of understand. Oh yeah, here's a really cool rock. Oh, it's so beautiful here right now. 
But my biggest worry is uh, finding Wi-Fi, finding internet. We're gonna be based out of Whistler wait, most of the time, or at least for the summer. I'll do my research to see what kind of internet situation I get sorted because the video files are very large and uh, I'm gonna be uploading a lot. Like the Patreon edit and the public edit. And I wanna move up to twice a week on the videos because I'll obviously have a lot more time to make videos without a day job. But maybe you also saw my uh, live stream from the Whistler Bike Park. I think that might have been the first ever riding live stream from the bike park. I'm not sure. It went over really well. So I'll do more of that. And uh, people will be able to request trails. Ooh. This is tight. People will be able to request trails and I'll ride them live from the Whistler Bike Park. And uh, I'm gonna try to do that once a week. Some of those will be patron only live streams. So if you want a trail request, it'll be a lot easier if you're on the patron live stream than the public one. All right, let's pop up to a climb trail called Lazy Boy. We'll head back to the top and we'll do a classic downhill line from my teenage years. But yeah, like I said, we're moving to Whistler. We'll be in the van. Um, Yuka is gonna get a job there. She works as a massage therapist and it seems like it should be pretty decent to get some work there for her. I think when winter comes, we'll start going south, travel a little bit. But with regards to money, the channel's doing all right. And I've got a good patron following. Thanks guys. And uh, living in a van is definitely cheaper than an apartment in Vancouver. The YouTube income is still not quite enough. But with making two videos a week and the live streams, I think that'll help. It's a pretty decent view here, if I recall. Ah yeah, there we go. That's the Fraser Valley. That mountain just across the way is better, which I've made quite a few videos on. Amazing riding there. But yeah, it's quite the cliff. Just in the previous lap, we were riding just down there. Starting up there, going all the way down across, and now we're coming back up. But anyways, uh, in regards to money, we're doing okay. But I think for it to be sustainable, I'm gonna need a little extra help. And I'm sure a lot of you guys know I got Patreon set up. So if you're if you're keen and you've been thinking about it, now would be a great time to sign up. Um, obviously just because there's gonna be more videos coming out, I'll be interacting with patrons a lot more just because I have a lot more time to do it. And yeah, you'll just be helping me to achieve my dream of basically being a mountain biker that travels around and makes videos for you guys. Some of the benefits are that you get the videos a week early, you get extended cuts. Also, there's stickers for patrons and t-shirts for patrons. And I also give shout outs and credit for people that are into that. But yeah, Patreon is one great way to support this channel if you're into that. And you can check it out at patreon.com slash bcpov. Uh, another great way to support me is to buy a t-shirt. Uh, so you can check out teespring.com slash bcpov. And I've got t-shirts for men and women on there. But yeah, some people might say Patreons for e-baggers or, or things like that. Um, and that's cool. Just keep watching the channel, keep liking, commenting. Uh, I love having all you guys watch the channel. It's really just for people that want a little more, that really just want to support me. Um, so yeah, if you're, if you're keen on it, go for it. And thank you very much if you do. But yeah, no pressure to sign up. This is my risk. This is my decision. Um, and I'm accountable for it, so. All right, let's get back to riding. A bit more of a climb, and then we'll be on the descent. All right, back to the top. But anyways, uh, let's check out my favorite line from when I was a teenager. Actually, it's still really good. 
So the first trail is called Paper Route. You have this little slab you start on. A little grown in. Makes it go high on this one. Still a little wet here. And then you got this little drop here. Just go slow. Yeah, the, the speed required for that drop is very low. And the run-in is quite fast. Yeah, it's good times through here. You may have seen this line on some of Jordan Boostmaster's videos. This is kind of his home trails. Woo. It's a bit of jump coming up. Woo. Nice. And then I think this is still paper route. Oh, it's super green in here. Oh, yeah. oh man, it's like a tunnel. Huh. Wow. The next one's uh, called Speedway. I followed Marky Math down at once and I crashed. So I'm gonna skip the jump I crashed on. <laughs> Super cool trail. Gonna skip the jump I crashed on. <laughs> a little one here. Front brakes rubbing a bit. When it heats up, it's been doing that lately. Kind of annoying. Oh, this tree has gone missing. <laughs> there used to be a tree next to that jump. And the next trail is called Le Bite Me. Le Bite Me Mike. I don't understand the name, but it's a good one. Everything's a little wet right now, so I'm a little tentative. Air this thing. Air this. Woo. <laughs> oh, the jumps are way short for the trail speed. <laughs> oh man, it's like a green tunnel in here. <sighs> Back, just stepping out a little bit. Ooh. A little rough. <laughs> Bug in the mouth. <laughs> Gross. And then this is a bit of a shoot. Oh, it's still super dry. <clears throat> in the wet, this is like really pretty, pretty gnarly. A little drop here. Nice. So now we're at McKee Road, but the ride's not done yet. There's a trail called the Lost Oakley. It must be one of the oldest ones around, and it's awesome. The Lost Oakley. All right, downhill bit on Lost Oakley. We got a drop and some jumps here. Woo. <laughs> nice. Let's do this. Old ladder bridge. Nice. And let's go up here too. It's a bit 
deep here. Actually, the grip is pretty good right now. I like to go this straighter line over this uh, wooden thing. <laughs> and then this kind of uh, boner loggy thing. Ooh! <laughs> nice. And then this awkward. Oh, it's broken. Oh, this used to be a, a drop. Oh, well. That's that, I guess. And up here. <laughs> this used to be so gnar when I was a kid, that roll. <laughs> Old janky woodwork. Classic skinnies. <laughs> Oh, and that was the Lost Oakley. Super fun. But anyways, Yuka semi-shuttled me. And uh, she's waiting at the bottom here. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching till the end of the video. If you're keen on Patreon, I'd love to have you. Patreon.com slash BCPOV. And of course, special thanks to my current patrons. You guys have definitely given me the confidence that I can go full-time with this. And I'm going to make your pledges worth it for you guys. Hi, Yukape. You got it. Tanaima. How was it? Good. It was actually a lot drier than I thought it was going to be. 